Welcome back everyone. So if you remember in our last video, we extracted the, the field information from, from the image using the AWS text track and the Lambda function. And we configure an event which uh, initiate the Lambda function uh, once the new image has been uploaded into, into S3 bucket. And it does extract that information and store it into, into the output uh, folder in the same bucket. We can configure the separate bucket. Now, uh, in this video, what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, do uh, the next step instead of the, the form. Uh, we're gonna extract the the a table from from the image and let me quickly show you uh, uh how it's gonna look like so you can see if you remember we have used this image in our last video and you can see this image has two parts on on the left hand side we have the tabular information and sorry but form information and sometimes this form has been identified as, as the tabular uh, as well uh, in some cases but generally it has been considered as form and on the uh, right hand side you can see we have some tabular information and what we are trying to do as soon as these sort of images comes in so our lambda function uh, should be efficient enough to extract that information and store it somewhere all right so in this video we're going to see how we can extract that that right side uh, through our lambda function so that means we we need to see uh, the output of like uh, you know the 53 uh, gene 50 uh, 48 gene best for uh, your all, uh, uh, organic uh, order date all these fields right and uh, wood group bank constro and adventure work cycle so hopefully once we execute our lambda function our expected output uh, uh, should include all these these uh, uh, these cells which are uh, appearing on the on the right hand side all right so that that's that's the 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 target that we are trying to achieve so uh, let me come back to to the dev environment where we are working that's not I'm actually looking so yeah so you can see we have in 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 here that's our lambda function that we have built the other day uh and you can see just to remind you let me quickly uh, execute it to just show you what is doing right now if you remember it is printing all the the field information and on on the on the console so at, uh, once we finish the extraction part then we'll go and we'll see how we can store that field information either in csv or json format uh into in, not only in the s3 bucket but also how we can put it into into dynamo db for for the processing so that that's the the storage part which we'll cover in the in the storage videos right so uh, let's run this one to see whether we are able to uh able to uh see the the uh uh, the field information. So I've already configured the test event. If you remember uh, last time, so yeah, that that's my uh, uh, bucket name, and I'm passing the the employee uh, information. Uh, sorry, employee image. And let me quickly just show you back in here. It's the same image that we have seen uh, at the start of this video. I'm just gonna bring it back so you can see this is the image they have already uploaded. And I'm going to pass this as a as a test event uh, as a uh, input to my Lambda function. By the way, once we upload it into into uh, into S3 bucket, it's gonna trigger the same Lambda function, which we'll see now at the end because we have already seen in the in the previous video. So. So that's all good. Let me just go in and let me hit test. Awesome. So if I come in here, so you can see it has extracted all the information, primary phone number, job title, is the sale representative, first name, which is Jane. Secondary phone number is not there. Or somehow unable to see the fill information. So you can see it has extracted uh must be some. So that's the last name. Yeah, last name, primary phone number. And let me quickly go back to just verify. Yeah, Jane Kotas. 
Jane at northwindtraders.com, sale representative, primary phone number one, two, three, all the way is the, is the primary phone number, title is Mr. Supervisor is Andrew. So you can see all that information that has been appearing on the left-hand section. That is also uh, uh, available in the in the in the console of of the uh, sorry the output log output section, which later on we're gonna store somewhere, right? So that that that's the the uh, the pass uh, uh, sign of of the test. All right. So now the next step, which we're gonna do, we're gonna bring. Uh, the tabular information in the in the in the log output panel. So the 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 steps are pretty simple because we have already built the structure of our lambda function. Now we just need to pass different parameters to to do, to extract the different section of the image. So because we are interested in the in the tab tabular information, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put the tables. Now, obviously, in order to extract the table information, we need to traverse the the uh, the uh, the do, uh, document object differently. It's not like the we are extracting the field. You know that we have in the table we have rows and underneath we have column. So obviously the the code will be changed. So what I'll do, I'll just uh, comment this code. And I'll put a new code in here and I'll explain that code in a moment. So let me quickly get this code. All right. <clears throat> By the way, this code is part of the, the API uh, uh, as well. So in the example section, you can you can uh, get this code. Uh, so that's why I'm saying the, the TextRect API in Python is really well documented and uh, properly managed. Like they are keeping not only the documentation, object feature, everything, but they are also keeping the examples as well for the newbies to start and you know using that that API in 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 their in their course, right? So very powerful uh, 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 API as well as well-maintained documentation. So you can see the first part is same because we obviously we need to extract all the pages of the document object because it can be single page, which is the example which we are working for the sake of simplicity, or it may be more than one page if it's a PDF document. Right now I'm using the PNG. I'll see if it, uh, later on I can uh, record a video to extract the information from multi-page document uh, if possible, right? Because in that case, what we're gonna Gonna do we're gonna loop through the, all the pages in the in the uh in the doc object right and in the uh, on each page obviously we are supposed to have uh, a, a, a table a table uh, uh object array and we're gonna extract that uh, uh object one by one because it is possible that we have more than one table on a single page right so you can uh, see the concept of may, uh, an array of objects on on each uh, on each uh, 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 loop, right? And obviously, in the table, uh, we're gonna have extracted the the rows that how many rows we have, and we're gonna traverse the rows. And in each row, we will uh, extract the column. Uh, but uh, if you can see in here, the good thing that instead of getting the column, uh, we are getting the cell because once we are on the row, obviously the uh, intersection of the cell and column will will uh, reach on on the cell. So that that's a pretty smart uh, uh, way of extracting the information. That instead of you know extracting a column and then referring uh, to to the uh, row and column, uh, once we have the row. Uh, all we need to actually uh, get the cell information and from the cell we start extracting the information, right? So nothing fancy, uh, you know, programming, that's a typical uh, nested loop that we are using to traverse the table to extract the information. And then all we are doing to to, uh, to uh, uh, print the information uh, and R and C are more like the, the indexes of, of these, uh, the, the row and the cell, which will help you to, to find out where that piece of information and whether it's correctly uh, displayed or not, right? And these indexes can also help us to later on uh, to put our information together if we are storing it into into an other multi-dimensional uh, uh, array, 
right uh, we are printing it at the moment on on the on the console uh, in the under the log output so we'll see whether it's able to extract all the information for us or not right so i think we are all good at this stage uh, uh, at the moment it's going to store all the information uh, into into the output log uh, uh, in the output folder which we are not interested like i've shown you the other day it's full of everything so uh, once we have extraction of every part of the document like the the uh, the field information the tabular information then we'll see how we can store it into into a nice uh, format into either json or or csv right so that that's the the storage part so let's complete the extraction part i think we are pretty good let me deploy that function because remember, if you change anything, you have to deploy. If you won't deploy, uh, it will not take your changes and it will use the, the old compiled version, which ran successfully. Let me hit deploy. Yeah, deployment is done. Uh, let's come to, to the test uh, section. Uh, we're going to use the same uh, input parameter to 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 initiate our lambda function, but this time the output uh, is supposed to be different because instead of getting the left hand side, we are supposed to see the the right hand side. So let's see. Let me just go and hit test. Finger cross looks good. No error. And now, there we go. Awesome. So what we can see, we can see the, the first row, which is number, employee. Let me see if I can, you know, just shorten it out, reduce the size, just for the sake of simplicity. Yeah. So you can see the first uh, 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 first part, or I would say the, the uh, first line, uh, yeah. Uh, or the zero index uh, is showing the the header row, and then obviously we have the first header, which is uh, sorry the 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 index one, which is showing the first uh, row in in the in the table, which is uh, uh, Jane Kotas best for your or organic CC. The date is there ninety five point six nine and new. Uh, is there any other field which I'm missing? No status is there. Right, so, and then we have obviously not selected. Uh, it's the, uh, so let me see, 48, All right, so it's still getting the, I'm not sure. Oh, uh, I think that that is, uh, that is, uh, yeah, that that uh, that is the 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 navigation bar. Sorry, the 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 zero uh, cell is referring to the, the once it's going to try to read the table. The first uh, part is more like the navigation uh, part, so we can safely ignore because that that's not a real cell. It's more like the 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 cell of the screen, right? Uh, sorry, the navigation uh, bar, which allow you to navigate between between the uh, between the uh, between different rows right so that that's all good uh, we, we can safely ignore it uh, we can uh, suppose that our uh, information is starting from uh, cell number one so that that's where everything is good we have the row number uh, 48 again sorry about that uh, John Keras, Consto, yes, uh, 270823, awesomely extracted, 79, uh, cleared and new, right? So you can see how powerful this library is, like it has read all the information in a nicely tabular manner. And now all we need to do is to store that information into, into the CSV or JSON format, or we can store it into our uh, DynamoDB. So I think table will be the best to show you how you can store it into, into uh, DynamoDB. And then I leave the form part to, st uh, to store in the DynamoDB at yourself, right? But uh, if you can see that that's the whole concept of extracting any sort of information from 
from uh, the images or document using using the uh, AWS text uh, text track, right? So that that's what we have achieved as part of, of of this uh, uh, this image. So we are pretty good, very powerful machine learning language. You can literally consume that, and you know the next thing what we can do, we can. Uh, we can uh, pass the the lambda function. Uh, 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 we, sorry, we can attach the lambda function uh, to. Uh, uh, we can attach the lambda function uh, behind our API gateway because the next feature which I'm gonna show you uh, that will allow you to search any particular information piece from your from your images, right? So that can be a very powerful solution. We are the 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 uh, the end user can consume the information through API gateway. They can talk to your, your Lambda function. And if you remember, we have already see how we can secure the, the Lambda function through JWT. So we can uh, provide the secure uh, endpoint to the end user and they can interact uh, to our uh, 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 text track solution through the API gateway. They can provide any term. And if that term exists, we can return the, 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 the value of that term. Uh, as as the output right and that can be stored into into uh, into the uh, 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 either bucket or or the database so i hope you like the uh, the the concept you like this library very very powerful machine learning library give you a real taste of how the industry is using the machine learning algorithm to to automate a lot of functionality which is reducing uh, a, a, a lot of manual work and improving efficiency feel free to reach out if you have any question or comment uh, otherwise please like or, uh, the video subscribe the channel and I'll see you in the next video with the, the storage solution, which is remaining now to store the information which we have extracted on the S3 bucket as well as in the DynamoDB. Thanks for watching.